Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and thank you so much for being here. We are getting into the holiday spirit today by making our very own Christmas ornaments. We decided to use some Baltic birch plywood, big surprise there, and of course epoxy and I used my own logo. Now here's the deal. I'm going to give some of these away down in the description below. Also the details will be at the end of this video as well. So stay tuned and let's see how we make these. Like I said before, thank you everyone for joining me for this, but before we get started, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday this year, and I hope that you get to spend some time with the ones closest to you, the ones near and dear to your heart, as this time of year, it really does bring back good memories for me, as I hope it does for you as well, and guys, thank you again so much. Now, let's get into this build. Well, as you can tell, yes guys, a uh, big surprise. I'm using Baltic birch plywood, but these are essentially gonna be trays or troughs for the logos to sit in. As you can see here, I'm assembling with glue and brads, pretty simple construction here. And then I'm taking some labeling tape, or I guess you would call this shipping tape, and I'm cutting it to length so it fits inside the troughs that we just made. Well, if you've ever ordered anything from me or gotten anything in the mail from me, you, you'll recognize this tape right off. This tape is awesome. It is self-adhesive. You just wet the back, and I'm going to use it and its logo to become the ornaments that we're going to make. So not only are we going to embed the logo or the tape inside those troughs, I'm going to rip some strips here of some Baltic birch and also some of the Teak and Holly marine grade plywood that consists of, as you see it right there, my bench and most of my shop is made from this stuff. So the next step, as you see here, the blade is tilted to about 30 degrees. I'm taking those thin strips and I'm going to rip them down, kind of exposing the edge a little bit, giving you a little bit more of a reveal of the Baltic birch and that marine grade plywood. Why? Well, I've been kind of deemed as the plywood guy on YouTube and I use it a lot in everything I make around here. So why not put it in the Christmas ornaments that we're going to make? That's going to be part of this giveaway. Pretty simple to install these. I use some CA glue or super glue and then some activator on the back of those strips and they nestle in nicely on the edges of these troughs. At this point now, I'm gonna mix up some two to one ratio total boat high performance epoxy. We're gonna mix in some black diamond pigments and just a little bit of that kind of bluish color I think is kind of a nice touch. And then also you're gonna see here that it gives it enough translucency so you can see through it yet that blue color is still there. And speaking of Total Boat, they have sent me some of this great epoxy multiple times now, and I've used it in all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna link down below exactly where you can find this really durable and really great performing epoxy. So check them out when you get a second. So now that the epoxy is fully cured, I'm actually gonna take on the table saw here. I'm gonna rip off the edges of each of these troughs. Then I'm gonna orient those pieces 90 degrees on the crosscut sled, cutting out each individual ornament as you see here. I do want to tell you guys this, I don't have any type of design or any idea of what I'm going to do with these. However, I'm just kind of following my nose. I cut a few pieces off on the bandsaw, shape it on the disc sander. Look at this, I got my oldest involved. He is 11 years old and he's actually pretty darn good on the bandsaw. He decided he wanted to go ahead and trim one up himself. As you can see, he's going to do this now. We then make our way over to the disc sander as he wants to shape some rounded edges and some flat. He's doing a pretty good job. His turned out great and quite frankly, and it's all said and done when you're done with this. It's something that you made and I think we had a great experience and a great memory being made making these things tonight. So the next few moments, you're basically gonna see me cutting and trimming and sanding some of these to various different designs. I do wanna say this, there is a micro mesh system that you can hook to your orbital sander, which really brings out a very nice sheen or a clarity in the epoxy in its final stage. So as you can see here, with the teak and holly plywood variety, I tried to leave most of that wood intact to kind of give it that nice color break. Also, I'm using polyurethane for this clear gloss, but you could use spray lacquer, shellac, whatever you want. So after I've made the first few ornaments, I realized that the rectangle theme is just not really working anymore. So we're gonna take a circle pattern, we're gonna cut it out on the bandsaw, bring it over to the disc sander, shape it to its final form, and then break all the edges with a foam pad. As you can see here, we're gonna put it back on the Lazy Susan, put a coat of clear on it, and it's good to go. I then went back to the bandsaw to cut out the actual mustache man shape. For some reason, I didn't record it, not really sure why, but as you can see here, I'm shaping it on the disc sander, and this was a pretty cool design as well. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and install some of the hardware. I'm simply just drilling in a very small hole, attaching a very small eyelet, and then running some ribbon through it and tying it off. It really is that simple. Again, like I said, a very small hole. We're gonna go ahead and put an eyelet in there, and then I'm using a small screwdriver to help me thread it all the way through. Once that's done, you tie this ribbon off, and then go ahead and cut off the excess as well. And you got yourself a nice little custom shop made ornament. And there you have it, multiple designs, fun project, didn't take very long, and I'm giving these away. All the details are in the description below, so check it out. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us for this project. This was an absolute blast to build, and of course, I'm giving some of these away. I'm gonna do two giveaways, one on Instagram. If you're not following me down there, I'm gonna leave a link down below how to do that, and another one right here on YouTube. So, to give a few of these away here on YouTube, what you need to do is you need to be subscribed, of course, like the video, and then comment down below on where you're gonna put your ornament if you win one. Do that and I will choose at random a few winners on this platform. And again, like I said, on Instagram as well. You wanna hold it? <laughs> Not interested at all. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. There's gonna be an icon here to subscribe to the channel. Also, a few more videos are gonna be playing over here as well. Or I might have done that backwards, who knows. <laughs> Either way guys, thank you so much for joining us. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to everyone. And we wish you a safe travels if you're doing so. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs>